I want to address grain allergies today. Dollar, or Pitweiler here, hi Dollar, has a pretty serious grain allergy. And we discovered it when he was a puppy. He would dig and itch. And, and we took him to the vet. And uh, turns out it's a grain allergy, which is real common. And uh, we actually had an incident making some homemade food where he had a family member mix just a little bit of corn, not thinking it was a grain, into the homemade food. And within hours, he was digging at the back of his paw pads right here. Here, Donna. Let me see your foot. He was actually digging right here to these back pads so badly that they were bleeding. And I had to bandage them up um, and sterilize them every day and clean them just like an open wound. I mean, it was pretty bad. And uh, that was just from one meal of a grain. And I know that it's pretty common with the pitties and uh, some of the other dog breeds out there. And people a lot of times think it's a skin allergy. And it mimics a skin allergy. And they dig and they have hot spots. When in fact, you're looking at a lot of the dog foods in the last, uh, let's say, 10 years have really put in a lot of corn, a lot of fillers, and who knows where that's coming from. It's obviously, it's kind of lower end stuff being a lower end dog food. We found we really like this Crave. I'm not a, you know, we tried Blue Buffalo and a lot of them, and they're really, really expensive. We found this to be kind of a balance. It's more expensive, obviously, than some of the, the grained dog foods that are out there. But it's not quite as expensive as some of the real name brand stuff. Um, we're not into getting in a debate about which is the best dog food on the planet. We found that a Pitweiler with pretty severe uh, grain allergies, he has a beautiful coat now. Um, he's in great shape and doesn't dig, doesn't itch. And before, it was every 10 seconds you'd hear this dog itching. And it was just miserable watching him. And... Uh, what I do like to do is I'll take some of this and I'll cook up a pound of hamburger, for example, and kind of keep the grease in there and put the drippings in. And I'll just mix a little bit so he doesn't get the runs from the grease. Just a little bit and mix it in there with a little bit of water and uh, make kind of a doggy stew out of it. But uh, he really likes it and it's readily available. We found it at PetSmart. Walmart carries the Crave. I'm sure your local stores would have it. And it's just kind of a decent little food. And... Uh, got to watch out for the grain allergies. It'll mimic a skin allergy. And people buy special shampoos and all kinds of things when a lot of times it's a grain allergy. So just kind of a helpful hint out there. If you have a dog that's itching or digging and you've tried the shampoos and it's not working, why not try some grain-free dog food? It takes about two, three days to work the other food out of their system. And then we just notice that uh, he doesn't itch, he doesn't dig. And isn't that right, daughter? Yeah, he's watching the door. He likes to guard the door. Good boy. So Dollar's a fan of the Crave dog food.